I literally just got back and uh, I magically gained 3,000 coins over the time I was gone and that's uh, <laughs> thank you so much to Game Western Techno I guess, wow. Okay, I literally just got back, I, I'm gonna just copy this link, uh, and we'll look at it later. I literally just got back, you know, like, I landed within an hour and I got home like less than 30 minutes ago and I'm getting so many calls out, I don't know, I can't PvP, I haven't played in like 6 days. I have, uh, I am like actually looking forward to playing Blitz. It's weird. I I watched Techno play on my account while I was out of town, right? I haven't played on my account in like almost a week now, and it looked like fun. Honestly, it looked like a lot of fun. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. Although he played Scale and not Tim. Oh my gosh, this is this is how bad it's. It's oh my god. I should probably talk about my trip, but. I, uh, I don't think I'll survive long enough to actually get anything done this episode. I want to get back into the grinding spirit of this game and hopefully grind to my next level 10 in the next uh, couple couple of weeks here. But we'll see. Anyways, how my trip went. Um, okay. So I literally just got back from Toronto. I absolutely love Toronto, you know. Oh my god, this guy's stacked. At <laughs> speed. No, he doesn't have gold pants. I think I have gold pants. Oh my god, the hiccups. I'm trying to concentrate here, I'm sorry. There's so much to think about. Uh, okay, so yeah, so my trip. I actually love Toronto. Like, I, you know, I'm a small town, kind of like far away from any big cities. Not like that small. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Oh, oh, the combo there. <laughs> this is, oh fuck. Uh, this is, uh, why <laughs> I need practice badly. So I'm a small town guy. Like, I'm from far away. I'm like a thousand kilometers out from Toronto here. And so going to Toronto is a pretty big deal, but I absolutely love it there, you know, I love, you know, the big town feel. And, you know, I just, I love, like, the traffic and all that stuff is just great, all the people walking around. We don't get that here in Thunder Bay, so it's nice to have a nice change. You know, Northern Ontario is a pretty isolated place. Not pe not many people come up here, and even though Thunder Bay is like 100,000 people, it doesn't seem that big because it's two cities uh, merged into one. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Right, so yeah, my trip went amazingly. Today, I got two hours of sleep today. I, I'm, I can't, I'm so tired, but I don't know, I'm in like such a great mood. I'm just gonna run away, bye. I'm in such a great mood today because I got back, but even though I got literally two hours of sleep last night. But I'm, I'm high on caffeine and excitement from being home. Um, he's getting wrecked to rip. Eh, um, hope he isn't at speed anymore. Oh my god. Block hitting, of course he would. Oh my god, GG, okay. I won my first game back, okay, cool. I don't know how I did that. I'm just gonna keep talking because I don't really feel like playing this game because I'm so tired. I don't feel like play well I wanna play Bliss, but I don't feel like I can play Bliss. Oh my god, I'm just I'm in such a great mood. I, I got two hours of sleep last night, right? And uh I I have my operation it went poorly, but I'll talk about the next game. But I, I got two hours of sleep last night and we spent like six hours traveling to Toronto because we had to take like three different buses to get to the airport, which is weird, but whatever. And, uh, so yeah, I got like two hours of sleep last night, but I feel amazing. I don't know why it is. I don't normally get this little sleep, so maybe it's just, uh, like I'm so overtired that I agree. I just feel, I just feel, I just feel so happy and stuff. It's great to be back. I've missed, I missed everything. You know, the five days I was gone, I missed everything. So yeah, I'm back. And we'll talk about my operation in the next game. All right, so my operation, it went, it went interestingly. The adult hospital is so much different from the pediatric hospital I went to before. Like I just turned 18 a couple months ago, right? So, um, so I, like I literally just turned 18, and it's so much different there, you know, the, the, uh, sick kids, which is what it's called, um, it's always so much more casual, like, or not casual, so much more serious and tense, whereas at this hospital, this new uh, Eternal Western, it's like, so much more casual, like, they're talking during it, like, there's only two people in the room, other than me. And like it was just so much more casual. I guess I liked it because I didn't like the whole serious and intense atmosphere of of um, the sick kids operation. So that made me a little bit more at rest, and I wasn't restrained, or I had to hold myself to the bed. Basically, is what I'm doing to restrain myself because I knew I couldn't can just uh, sit there. Well, uh, okay, well that was a oh my god! I'm not paying attention. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, that went, that went, that went well. Oh dear lord! Uh, well, members are complaining about me? Who? What? Paper 
seems so unfair, you know? <laughs> but it's fine, I guess. This horse can die. Also, I'm, I am, like, stacked as fuck right now. Oh my god, none of, none of these guys are legit. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, well... Ah, oh, fucking so close. Guys, am I famous yet? Majestic just nod over me. Okay, hopefully I can talk now. I, I, I think everyone has shut up in my messages. Okay, cool. <laughs> right, so my operation... I, what I was, I was saying that it was so much more casual and like that they were talking, but they did it wrong. So I thought it was fine. I, I honestly would say Scout 7 is probably the best level 7. Um, so it was honestly, it felt fine. Everything was going fine. The recovery seems normal for it. But then the other day I realized they put, uh, I don't know if you guys remember what the actual operation was, but basically I have a tube in my stomach and uh, they're just replacing the tube. And they put the wrong size tube in my stomach. Yep, uh, they gave me two options. I didn't know which. They said that the radiologist would be able to pick between the two. Easily, no problem. And he walked in. They were like, okay, um, it wasn't medium or large, it was like actual numbers, but he walked in and he was like, they're like, medium or large? And he's like, everyone's always a large. If, unless you're a two pound baby, you're a large. And well, I'm a medium apparently. Oh, hey, Mercy's in this game. Um, I'm a medium apparently. I didn't know that actually. I had no idea what I was. So I just went, okay, sure, you're the radiologist who's been doing this, you know. Probably like once every week because it's a pretty common thing and Considering there's only like three hospitals in Canada that do it or in Ontario that do it um, So yeah, basically I don't look I went Astro, right? Wow, this is a pretty terrible stuff for Astro. I'm gonna be honest So basically yeah, the wrong size so it is really fucking uncomfortable. Where is this? Experience oh, it's over there. Okay. It's really un fucking uncomfortable. I thought it was fine and all that, but it it's basically feels like it's falling out non-stop, and I can hardly walk. It's gone kind of pretty painful. So I've been, like, putting tape, like, I have tape stuck to my stomach right now from it. I've been, like, holding it with tape and stuff. So I don't know, we might be going back to Toronto soon, which is fine, because I absolutely love Toronto. It's a really cool city, but... So basically, I'm stuck here with a really uncomfortable situation. With a really uncomfortable situation that I'm kind of, like, always in pain. <laughs> oh, he's drinking a potion. Nope, he has no idea what's going on. Cool. That works for me. I will take that cheap win. And I have full chain. Nice. Okay. So basically, I'm kind of like really uncomfortable. It's fine when I sit down and stand up, but once I start walking, it hurts quite a bit. And as you can imagine, walking around Toronto was a bit of a pain, but I didn't have to walk too much. So it was fine. And uh, parents, I mean, I don't have a summer job, which is great in this respect, because I can't probably won't be able to walk for the next two to three weeks, depending on what we do. Like, uh, there's a couple options. So there's a couple options here that I have. I can either put on, like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I, think I can't, I don't have the coordination today for this. All right, so I can either put on the, uh, put on weight. Like, about 10 kilograms of weight, maybe 15 kilograms of weight. I'll still actually be healthy weight. I'm kind of, like, fairly underweight. Not, I'm, I'm healthy weight, but close to underweight. And, uh, yeah, so basically I can, you know, put on a bunch of weight as a way to make it fit. So we're say, my mom says I can put on about four kilograms of weight and I'll be fine. I don't want to fight you, Mercy. Just go away, please. Give me the blister. Oh my god! <gasps> ah! I'm dead now. Rip my dreams! Oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, I was not paying attention there. Okay, I'm just gonna continue talking because I don't feel like recording a different game so much. Last time I played Blitz a lot, I had 250 subscribers. So the fact that my channel went from 250 to 800 in that time, I'm not used to being this famous. Anyways. As I was saying, or whatever I was saying, I don't know what I was saying. Anymore. Yeah, Wreck and Marcy, you got this. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Rex. Okay, anyways. What was I saying? So you have a couple options. I can either put on like 10 kilograms, 15 kilograms of weight and hope that it fits, <laughs> hope that it uh, fits better with that because right now it hurts a lot, like just as I'm talking here. It's, yeah. Another option is to like make another appointment, another, uh, we call it tube changes. We uh, make another appointment sometime in the next two to three weeks and just let me deal with it. Or I just deal with it for the next year. I don't think that's possible. I don't want any of the three options. I'm going to be honest, but the weight one is the one that is probably the easiest for me. So I'm just going to 
gonna put on some weight, I guess. And so uh, that's basically all I have to say. What I do in Toronto, I uh, visit the family mostly. I visit both sides of my family live in southern Ontario. I don't see them much. I see maybe, maybe I see probably both sides maybe two times a year. Uh, not too often, so it's nice to see them. Although I was really really salty about it this year for whatever reason seeing them ah uh, whatever either way i'm just that's just a quick update video i'll go back to my regular videos uh i have a schedule now i want i want to work on a schedule so i won't say the schedule in case i can't follow up with it but i, I will i will see you guys soon with a proper episode so thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time oh and he died rip oh my god so many he turns around